Hello everyone, in this short video, I will show you how you can use the datetime library in Python. The datetime library in Python can be used in algo trading for various reasons. The most obvious ones are, for example, scheduling the opening and closing of trades. Or you can also keep track of macroeconomic news events if you want to trade during these times. To import the datetime library, we simply type from datetime import datetime. Here's the first example, what the library is able to do. So in this example, uh, I will show you how we can get the current time. So current time is equal to date time dot now. And date time dot now will return the current time. As you print this, it will return the current time, which is 2022 04 13, So what if you want to create a date time object at a different time that you specify yourself? So in this example, to create our variable datetime object one, we can create our custom datetime object by specifying the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, and the second. In this case, I set the datetime object to 2022, 04, 01, 12, 15, and 10. So how can we manipulate these datetime objects? And in this example, uh, you can see how we can, for example, convert this datetime object into a string. So let's say we have this datetime object one, which is print this format, and I can convert this datetime object into a string by using strf time, which is string from time. And here I can specify the format in which I want it to be printed. So the capital Y represents the year, the lowercase m, the month, the lowercase d, the day. The uppercase H is the hour, the uppercase M is the minute, and the uppercase S is the second. I also added some other time formats. So for example, the lowercase Y represents the year in four digit format. And if you just want to get the date from the date time object, you can just leave out the hour, minute, and second and do it like this. There are also other formats, for example, if you add the B, this B will represent the month uh, written out. So let's look at this printed uh, day strings. So the first string here represents the same format as, uh, as printed here. But for example, if we want only two digits in the year, we use the lowercase y and the string would be printed like that. Here where we just specified only the year, month and day, we have the date format here and the written out month uh, can be seen here. Now that we know how to convert the date time into a string, how about we convert a string into a date time object? And to do that, we can also use strp time, which stands for string parse time. And to convert a string to date time, we simply have to specify which string we want to convert to date time. So in this case, I chose date time string one, which is this variable here. And I just have to specify in which format this string should represent the date time. So we know that this string has this part as year, this part as month, this part as the day, this part as the hour, this part as the minute, and this part as the second. So by copying this format and adding it as the second parameter of this function, we can then convert this string back into a date time object, which is date time from string object one. Now we're going to have a look at time delta, where we're able to add and subtract time from date time objects. So to work with time deltas, we have to import it. So from date time, import time delta. And let's first uh, decide on the date time object. So let's say we set our date time object to this value here. So with the help of time delta, I can, for example, add and subtract time. So our date time add variable is equal to date time object plus time delta, and I specify this one. So as a result, the date time object that has this value here, after adding one day, we sh should then see this value here. So date time add one now is 2002-0402. 12, 15, 10. So we see that the day incremented by one thanks to time delta. And this also works with subtractions. So if you want to subtract 
uh, some time from daytime object, we can do minus time delta. And if I subtract 5 minutes and test 10 seconds from daytime object 1, we get the following result. So it is 2022 12, 10. So we see we subtract 5 minutes, so 15 becomes 10. And this 10 seconds becomes 0. So this is how you would add and subtract uh, time from daytime objects. And lastly, I'd like to show you how to work with time differences. So let's say we uh, specify a second daytime object and set it to daytime 2022, 3, and 20. So these are the current values. And if we subtract uh, a daytime object from a second daytime object, the uh, outcoming result is a uh, time delta and it will display the time difference. So in this case, you will see the difference between these two daytime objects is 12 days, 12 hours, 15 minutes, and 10 seconds. Thank you very much for your attention. You can download the Jupyter Notebook from my GitHub repository. I will leave the link in the descriptions below. If you want to see more Python videos in the future, make sure to subscribe, and I will be back with another video.